Hello guys, today I want to talk about routes and specifically route names because I see a lot of people still don't use them and use something like URL helper like this, URL products instead of doing routes. And in this video I will show you why you should use route names and how exactly. So imagine a simple project with products list and then view products, so two pages and in the routes web you have products for the list, so product controller index and products ID for the show. It's kind of like resourceful controller but just with two methods. And as I said, I still see people doing this instead of using route names. So why you should use route names? Main benefit is what if you want to change the URL? For example, you decide at some point that it won't be a product, but it will be slash p slash something, just the letter p. And now you need to change that in two places. So in here, p slash id, and then in here, p slash id. And then wherever else you have the same link in the project. It may be on a sidebar, it may be in emails, it may be wherever, in the blade files. To avoid that manual renaming, you can use routes. So let's get back and have route products dot show and product ID will become a parameter of that. So product ID like this and then we assign the name products ID. We'll leave it as this and assign the name of products show and that should all still work. Let's refresh the page. The link is working. It's kind of irrelevant what's inside of that page. It's a demo project, but the URL is product slash one slash ID. So that works. And now if you want to change that link to slash P slash one, there's only one place you need to change here. P slash ID, because everywhere you reference that route, it will be route name. So you don't need to change anywhere in blade or emails or elsewhere. You just need to change the routes web. And then if you go back to the list of products, that link will still work, but point to the new URL slash p slash one. And also you may use that on the resource controller. So what if you have not route get, but route resource, resource products to product controller like this. Let me just make some editing like this. So route resource to the full product controller. And in the controller, we have all those methods like standard Laravel resource controller, and it will automatically assign the name. So it will be products.index, products.create, products.show, and so on. So if we refresh now, P1 doesn't work, but products works. And the view product references to products one. And now what if we want to change that to P? If we change that in the products like this, that wouldn't work and I will show you why. If we go to slash p as a URL, it will show product show not defined because everywhere in the blade it will reference the products.show. And you would think you still need to manually rename all of that in the blade to p.show, but no. In routes web, you can assign the names to the route controller. It's done by doing names, products. So names for all of those resource methods will be prefixed with products. And now if we go to slash p, it will still work. So route names will be products dot something, but route URLs will be p dot something. There are more things that you can do with route naming. I will link in the description of this video, the official documentation of Laravel so you can read more. And if you want more videos on Laravel and related stuff, subscribe to the channel because I'm shooting videos almost daily now and see you guys in other videos.